بسم الله وصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد. So today we're going to talk about something very important, which is tayammum, which is tayammum is using the dry dirt or dust instead of water from wudu. So we make tayammum when we do not have water, and we'll talk about that in more detail uh, when we talk about the conditions for tayammum. So, we're going to read a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ which illustrates that tayammum is from Islam and then we'll talk about some of the benefits of the uh, hadith. An Imran ibn Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhu and an anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ra'a rajlin mu'tazin lam yusallit al-qawm faqal ya fulan ma mana'kan tusallit al-qawm فقال يا رسول الله أصبتني جناب ولا ما فقال عليك بسعيد فإنه يكفيك رواه البخاري. In this hadith, the hadith of uh, Imran ibn Hussein رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said that the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم he saw a man in the masjid. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was in the masjid and he saw a man in the masjid that was not praying with the people. So everyone made salat, and this man didn't make salat. He was just maybe standing there or sitting there. So then the Prophet ﷺ said to this man, afterwards he said, Oh, so-and-so, what prevented you from making salat with the people? You know, what stopped you from praying with us or praying with the other people? Uh, so... The man responded, he said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I had janaba, meaning I, I needed to make ghuzl, I needed, I was in a state of impurity where I needed to make ghuzl. And I didn't have any water. So then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Alayka bi sa'id fa innu yakfiq. He said, is a, it is upon you to use clean earth because that's sufficient. And this was collected in Bukhari. What that means is the Prophet وسلم, he saw a man who didn't pray with the Jama'ah. And the man said the reason he was not praying with the Jama'ah was because, because what? Ascent. Because he didn't have wudu and he didn't have any water. He didn't have water. So then the Prophet وسلم, said, uh, the dry earth is sufficient for you, meaning that you can make tayammum. So this is evidence for tayammum. This shows us that tayammum is something from Islam that we use clean earth. The earth is pure. When you go out and you run in the sand, in the dirt, or the desert, or in the mountains, on those, that kind of dirt, whatever kind of dirt it is, the asal of dirt is that it's pure. It's not dirty like the people say, or it's not nasty. But the dirt is pure. You can use it for tahara. If you don't have man, if you don't have water, as the Prophet ﷺ said. And so what we gain from this hadith, some of the benefits, is this hadith, actually not this hadith, but it's the next hadith that's coming up. Let's read the, the following hadith that comes uh, right after that. In this hadith, this is the hadith of uh, Amar ibn Yasser. It's a very important hadith. And Amar ibn Yasser, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Amar was one of the, uh, you know, early Sahaba, and he, he died uh, he was killed. His mother was the first shaheed. She was killed by the pagan Arab. They killed her. So Amar has great muzzle and her mother was the first sha sha shaheedah. Okay, she was killed by the, the pagans. And Amar ibn Yasser قال بعثني رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في حاجة فجنبتو فلم أجد الماء فتمردت في سعي كما تمرد الدابة ثم أتيت نبيا صلى الله عليه وسلم فذكرت ذلك له فقال إنما كان يكفيك كان تكون بيديك هكذا ثم ضرب بيديه الأرض ضربة واحدة ثم مسها شمال على اليمين وظاهر كفيه ووجهه uh, in this hadith, the hadith of Amar ibn, uh, ibn Yasser, Amar ibn Yasser, 
he said that the Prophet wasallam sent me somewhere uh, in order to t take care of something. And then I had Janaba. He had Janaba after that. Okay, so he went to do something for the Prophet wasallam, and then he ended up having Janaba. Meaning he, he became uh, impure where he needed to make ghusl. Janaba, when you have Janaba, someone who's Junub, that means they, make, they need to make ghusl, not just wudu. Wudu is not enough. Janaba, someone who is a uh, Janaba, they have to make wudu. I mean, they have to make ghusl, I'm sorry. They have to wash themselves a full shower. But, so, Amar ibn Yasser was in this condition where he needed to make Janaba. And he couldn't find any water. And he didn't know how what to do about that, but maybe he had some information about Tayyamun and from his itch he had from his own uh, logical reasoning and you know him being a Sahabi that has knowledge and fit and understanding of the religion, they're the best of the people, Radi Allah but he had itch he had because he didn't know exactly what to do about Tayyamun. So what he did is he rolled on the ground, he said Tamaratu uh, he said he rolled in the ground in the dirt just like an animal rolls. If you see some animals, they when they want to clean themselves, they roll in the dirt. Some cats, sometimes you see the cats playing, or you see dogs do that. Uh, different animals, they roll to in order to clean themselves, and it's part of their play. And you know we don't know all the reasons for it, but anyway, Amar and Yasser did it because he thought that this was Tayyum. He thought he needed to get his whole body covered with dirt, okay? And then he said that to the Prophet ﷺ. And the Prophet ﷺ responded, he said, Barely it is sufficient for you to take do like this with your hands. And then the Prophet ﷺ, he hit the earth with his hands uh, one time, and then he wiped his hands in accordance to the way the Hadith says, ثُمَّ مَسَرْ شِمَالَ الْيَمِينَ then he, he, he wiped his hands and then he wiped his face with the dirt. So all he did was hit the ground and he wiped his hands and his face. And the scholars, they speak about this. They say, uh, as, as uh, uh, Imam um, Ali Basel, he says that there is an hadith that mentions that the Prophet وسلم, specifically uh, did use, wiped his hands before his face. So what we learn from this hadith is that when we make tayammu, that we should wipe, you hit the ground with the dirt, and then you wipe your face, and then your hands. That's the sunnah of the Prophet Some of the scholars, they say there's other ways you can do it because they say this hadith might have tartib, it might have evidence that this is the order of the hadith, because the hadith specifically mentions in the Makana Yafikul bi and Tukul bi Yadeh Hakada, it mentions Thumma Dharma Yafi Yadeh Ya Akhdar Tan Wahida, Thumma Mesa Shimala Yameen. The Hadith, uh, on the Zahir of what we see, it seems like it mentions that you, you uh, wipe your hands, then your face. But the Shaykh is saying here, uh, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he says that, that this Hadith instead is evidence that you should wipe the face and then the hands. So when you make tayammum, you wipe what? You hit the ground, and then you wipe your face and your hands. Okay, everybody understand? Very simple. And that is just some of the things we get from those two hadith. So these two hadiths, some of the things we get from them, is first, number one, it shows us how to make tayammum. So if you memorize, especially the hadith of uh, Amar and Yasser, you'll know already from your own head you'll be able to know the, how to make the young. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that uh, from, uh, oh, I think it was a hadith of, it was one of the companions, and I, I forget the exact uh, narration, but I think it was uh, Ibn Abbas, I think, and he said, uh, it was Jabir uh, Ibn Abdullah, I believe, and he said, So he said in that hadith, he said that the Prophet ﷺ, after hitting the ground, 
that he blew. There's a narration where it mentions the Prophet Sallallahu blew the dirt. So that lets us know that it's permissible to do that. But generally with the ulama, they, they mention that the general characteristic of, of tayammum is that we hit the ground, wipe the face, and then the hands. Okay? So this hadith, this hadith of uh, Amar ibn Yasser shows us how to make tayammum. Another thing we gain from this hadith is it said, shows us that tayammum for ghusl and janaba, uh, that, t- that you can make tayammum, you know, with the, the, the clean earth, for ghusl. You can make tayammum for ghusl, ghusl of janaba. Meaning if you have no water, that tayammum also will clean you uh, even from janaba, even from the major hadith. Meaning that uh, tayammum is, is sufficient, if there's no water, it's sufficient for the major and the minor hadith. Meaning if you pass gas or you go to the bathroom and you have no water and you need to make wudu, you can make tayammum. If you have the major impurities from um, the fluids that pass from the men or the women, uh, from relations or from thinking or, uh, you know, from getting excited and things like this, this is the major impurity. And meaning that is the janaba. Okay? And so if a person has janaba, then they can make tayammum if, if they have no water. And we're going to talk more specifically about tayammum in a few minutes. Also, this hadith shows us you must look for water. That when you are, uh, uh, before you make tayammum, you have to look for water. You can't just say, oh, I don't have any water in this room, I think I'll make tayammum. No. You have to go and search for water. If you cannot find water, then you make tayammum. And we're going to talk a lot, I'll give some specific details about tayammum uh, in a few minutes. And I ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with al-nafir al-kantayib wa amin al-kakinin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyin wa muhammad.